Hello YouTube. How's everyone doing today? TM101 coming at you live through the interweb. Please let me know how you're all doing in the old comment section. If you're having a good day, bad day, let me know. If you're having a good day, let me know why. Bad day, let me know. I'll try and cheer you up. Well, an interesting video for you guys today. Basically, we are going to be... It's not, it's, a, it's not a gaming video, but it's to do with gaming. I'm going to be running you through some settings to increase your performance. Optimising your PC for gaming, really. And then I'm going to run you, into, run you through my Warzone optimised settings. And hopefully you can take some information from it. And it helps you out. So, we'll start off with optimising your PC for just gaming in, gaming in general, really. So, I'd say first... You want to go to your little search bar, the hub of your computer, type in game mode and click on game mode settings. Make sure game mode's off. It's useless and it just slows your PC down. Right. Secondly, you want to type, go, go back to your little search bar and type in power settings. And then here you'll have power and sleep settings. Click on this. Then you'll be greeted with your power and sleep settings. Then you want to come over here and click on additional power settings. On this one, it will load up like this. And the one you want to select is high performance. If you have a Ryzen processor, you'll have this option, AMD Ryzen high performance. This is a customized package for people with Ryzen processors. Now, when I first got my PC, this didn't show up until I updated my chipset. And the way you do this, you bring up Google, and you want to find out the make and model of your motherboard. So for example, this is an example of mine. Mine is an Asus Prime B450 Plus. And add driver on the end, and it will take you to the website of your motherboard manufacturer. For example, mine's Asus. Driver and tools, taking me straight into the driver section. I select my operating system, so Windows 10, 64-bit, because I'm I'm 64-bit. Make sure you got the right 64-32-bit. Don't touch a BIOS; you'll fry your motherboard if you don't know what you're doing. You got these other little ones that you can do. Have a little play around with these, but the main one you want is chipset, because this will this is how you get your high-performance package with Ryzen. So we we'll let that download. And there we go, for the power of editing, we downloaded that in a flash. So what you want to do now, guys, is click on this bad boy and extract all. This little folder up here, click on this, leave that, extract. So we let this bubble away. Once this is done, it'll, open, it'll basically extract it into a folder. And from that folder, I will show you the exact thing you need to click. So you want to be clicking the little computer. Mine says Asus Setup because it's Asus. But always make sure you've got the little computer here. And it will say Setup. So we click this. We say yes to that. And it will come up with your installation. Now basically you just want to accept the license agreement and then express install. It's just your regular installation. Same way you install everything. Go through the motions, get it installed. Then what will happen... When you restart your computer, get rid of all this stuff. When you restart your computer, your Ryzen will be either here on top or it will be down here. And then you want to select your AMD Ryzen High Performance Package. This is the best one. Make sure you do that, guys. Secondly, sorry, thirdly, if we go to Advanced, if we go to the little search bar and type in Advanced System Settings, That confused me it's because I wrote system. Right, so advanced system settings. Click on this and you'll be greeted with this little box. So you want to make sure it's in advanced. Go down to performance settings. Now, this is an odd one because you, if you want performance, you adjust for best performance. But look what it does. It obliterates all the be beauty on your computer. For example, you've lost all of your little file icons and things like that. Now, also, I mean, even the writing changes. You can see it's just kind of less punchy. 
this, I mean, if that doesn't bother you, this is definitely the best setting for performance. But if it does bother you, that your best bet is to go into custom and play with the little boxes here and tick on, tick off what you want, what you don't want. So that's that one done. On to the next one. If you have an NVIDIA card, an NVIDIA graphics card, you right click, like I just did. So that was right click NVIDIA control panel. You'll be greeted with your NVIDIA control panel. So first things first, adjust image settings with preview. You want to slide this all the way down to performance. It does make the edges a little bit jagged. As you can see that quality is rounded, but performance is a little bit jagged, but it's obviously built, it's set for performance. So do that for performance. And then you want to come down here. This is one of the best settings on your own video card. I mean, this makes it, your computer real beautiful. So adjust desktop color settings and what you, so adjust desktop color settings. What you want to do is digital vibrance. You won't be able to see this on my screen, but when you move these up and down, this basically goes to black and white and this goes this makes your screen pop. Beautiful colour. Amazing. Now, I do know some people who actually run this on 100%. I personally can't. I mean, I've tried to play Warzone with this on 100% and it just blows your eye eyeballs out of their sockets. So, I mean, the middle ground I found was 70. Because you should... You probably, I think you start off at about 50. But the difference between 50 and 70 is unbelievable. I leave it there because for me, that's absolutely perfect. But have a little play around with your cursor here this is one of the best settings honestly you will not regret changing this i promise you because this doesn't just apply to gaming this applies to everything in general just your screen in general just colors just makes things pop now i'm going to run you into the, my warzone optimization settings and just remember these settings i've just showed you the cpu uh the cpu the kind of computer optimization settings these aren't just for Warzone. I mean, these are for any game that you play. You know, these are just for anything you do in general. The, what I've just shown you, if you do all these steps, it will increase your performance over the board, across the board. You know, whatever you do. And it will, like the digital vibrancy will increase the way your screen pops, whatever you're doing. Okay, so now, now we're going to run into Warzone settings. Alright, now we're into my Warzone settings. This is where most of you Warzone people... Well, this is what most of you Warzone people want to see. First of all, there's a weird little bug with Warzone. Sometimes when you load it up, it loads up in full screen borderless. I don't know why it happens. When it does happen, this goes from 100, which is what it should be, to 50. And it looks absolutely terrible. But you will notice it on the home screen because it will change and you won't be able to see you'll barely be able to make out the tree that's behind your character or just things that are behind your character so always make sure this is in full screen with a hundred render res definitely important otherwise you'll go into the game and you won't be able to see anyone in front of you so we'll get into the settings I'm running 144 hertz refresh rate <coughs> whatever the refresh rate of your monitor 144, 120 2 million whichever you want to match your frames so come down the custom frame rate limit and match the frames to your hertz if you if you've got a 60 hertz but you've got a pc that can pump out 120 definitely 60 hertz and then probably limit to 120 because even though you won't see 120 frames on your 60 hertz monitor you'll still see a slight improvement you will still feel the improvement because it is still higher frames you might not see them but you'll still feel it if that makes sense so definitely do that but for the for, for the most part, you just want to... If you've got a high refresh rate, for example, 144 hertz, you just want to match it to 144. If your computer can't... If you've got a 144 hertz monitor and your computer isn't powerful enough to hit 144, even with customized or optimized settings, then drop it. Drop it to 120. And then change that to 120. And that avoid... I just completely failed. That was just... What am I doing? 120. Right, so that'll stop screen tearing. As long as they're matched, it stops uh, screen tearing. Which means you can turn V-Sync off. You can keep V-Sync off because if you read this here, uh, enable, right. Oh, 
What's going on? Enabling this prevents screen tearing issues. I literally just went to point at the screen then, like you could see it. I don't know why I did that. Enabling this prevents screen tearing issues but causes some input lag. It shouldn't say some, it should say, it should say major. It is really, really horrible. So just leave this off. Especially in close range, close range engagements, you just lose. <laughs> you literally just lose. It's horrible. To keep that off, and as long as these two are matched, you, f you refresh in your FPS, then you, won't get, you shouldn't suffer from screen. You may get the odd bit, but you shouldn't suffer from much screen tearing. NVIDIA highlights, that is your choice. Display gamma, just leave that on the, the old RGB, 2.2. Texture res, normal. Texture, filter, anisotropic, normal. Particle quality, high, this is a funny one. Because Warzone is so poorly optimised for PC, as us PC players will know, high, for some reason, you get more frames on high than you do low. And that is the God's honest truth. That's, it's really strange. So leave that on high. Bullet impacts and sprays enabled. What, I mean, a war game without bullet impacts is strange, right? Tessellation disabled. Shadow map resolution. Now you can, I leave this on low, but if you find... Sometimes you'll find that the shadows may look a little bit too blocky, if that's the right word. If you find they look too blocky and that annoys you, put it on normal, but don't go higher than normal. Just leave it on normal, but I personally leave it on low because it doesn't bother me. It's just, it's, I'd rather have better, better, better performance. Cash box, this is based on your RAM, it's nothing to do with performance. <coughs> if you've got about 16 gig RAM, leave them enabled. If you've got less than 16, so if you've got about 8 gig RAM, I'll turn them off. Because this is all about caching in your RAM. So, 8 off, 16, or 16 plus, leave them on. Particle lighting low. Ray tracing, hell no. Ambient occlusion disabled. SSR disabled. anti alloys in is based on your hardware. See, you, it, if you turn this off, it give you a big boost in frames. You know, 20, 30 frames. But it looks so bad. <laughs> like I can't really, I really hate the way it looks. I really can't stand it. So I'll just leave it on uh, T2X. Also, you can find middle ground. It's based on your hardware. I mean, if you can't stand it off, try uh, 1X. You know, SMAA 1X. I leave it on this because it looks great and it just fits in with my optimization. But this part is based on your hardware. This is what I'm saying. I mean, this is my optimization, but you can tweak little bits based on your hardware. For example, AA. Depth of field, disabled. Thermic strength, also. If you turn anti alloys in all the way off, you want to put this all the way up. Because if you have this all the way down and anti alloys in off, you might as well go. You might as well sell your PC and go and buy original Xbox. You'd probably be better off, to be honest. Probably, probably look better, to be to be fair. World motion blur, disabled. Weapon motion blur, disabled. Film grain, zero. These are my settings. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, let me down down in the comments. Don't forget the in-game, sort of the, sorry, not in-game, the computer settings, the PC performance optimization settings I went through before the Warzone graphics settings, they are kind of for every game. Like for example, the digital vibrancy what makes your monitor pop and that doesn't have to be gaming, that can be anything you're doing. Obviously some of the other, you know, the Ryzen high performance settings that I went through, or just the general high performance settings that I went through, they, they would just boost your FPS in any game that you play. So that's not specifically for Warzone, it's just I thought that I'd add that before just you know, just to give you a bit more information. You can never have too much information, and that is what the internet's for. Because Google, you know, how, how many people do you know when you're having a debate with one of your friends? How many of them pull their phone out <laughs> and ask Google just to try and prove a point? Because <laughs> everybody on nobody does it. Anyway, let me know if you found these tips useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, and I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please like share, subscribe, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace out.